Hey guys, almost licked it here and I am in my boat ready to go to my new starter house. Now this is a starter house tutorial and um, how to build a house in Minecraft. But as you can see, it's even got a little fishing dock. It's got a farm. It's just a small cute survival house. How do, how do I get out of this thing? Right, so let's get out of here. So as you can see, I've got a little place here where you've got your fishing rod and you've got a little seat so you can sit out here. You've got your little jetty. I'll put a link in the description for those mushroom houses as well. We've got a little farm here. It's even got a secret underground base that's in the swimming pool and you can actually access it from the other side as well. As you can see, it's just a really, really cute house. On the inside, it's got everything you need. You've got your bed, you've got uh, your furnaces, crafting table, brewing stand, you've got more chests and then you've got your base down here that takes you down into an enchantment place where you've got more chests and more stuff and then if you want to escape quickly you can get out through the swimming pool or if you wanted to go into the base through the swimming pool you can do that. Now I've done a modern version that's pretty much like this but I've uh, showed you how to do all the um, the garden and stuff like that. Um, I will try and put the seed down in the description um, so make sure you check down there but check this little house out you've got your nice little boats and everything it's perfect so make sure you slap the heck out of that like button i really will appreciate that and it really gives me motivation to build more so definitely do that and uh, yeah subscribe if you haven't already so without further ado let's build this awesome house okay so let's do this start house tutorial now as you can see i've got a really really nice area it looks really really good and um, so let's have a look what we'll need now these are the sort of resources i'm going for maybe the oak with the spruce and the birch but you can always change these you don't have to use these and um, we're going to have an underground uh, secret base and um, with bookshelves and it's going to be underneath the pool i think so we're going to start off with the oak wood we're actually going to need some oak slabs as well so we'll get our oak and we'll get our slabs as well Right, so we'll start it off. I'd say the area you would need just a nice little area like this, maybe a 20 times 20. Obviously, it'll fit in a lot smaller than that, but I'm kind of, uh, yeah, we're going for something like this. So we're going to start off with two here and two here. We're going to build it up three high, and then we're going to put our slab here, just so we've got enough space for our doorway. Now behind here, we're going to put another three and another three there. Now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to get the birch wood. So we go in here, we'll get our birch wood. We're going to be using that. So we get our birch wood and we're going to count one, two, and we're going to do this three high as well also. Now down the side of here, we can actually keep with the birch or you can keep with the oak as well. I'm going to keep with the oak. So we're going to count one, two, and we're going to fill this up to three at the side. And then we're going to have our little doorway here. So fill it like that and then we put another two at the side here now i've done it against a mountain here so just in case you want to have a little uh, cave house as well that actually locks into it you can do that i might actually do that i'm not too sure yet so now we're going to go over and get our spruce wood so make sure you got your spruce wood wood at the ready and we're going to have our water buckets as well we're actually going to dig into the ground now on the inside i'm maybe going to do some spruce on the inside but the side here we're going to extend it and what we can do, if you want to make it fatter, you can do this. So you go at the side here, so you can have a little bit more room. If you want to save on resources, you can do this. One, two, three, four, five. Now we can block this off here. Let's just get this all blocked off. And as you can see, you can always build some dirt round and build it into there. Now I'm just going to keep this plain. I don't want too many windows in this. Maybe at the back, we might, might put a window here just to let a little bit of light in. It doesn't matter whereabouts it is, that's completely fine. Now we'll start on our little pool. I'm gonna do some kind of like backing here. But we'll count one, two, one, two, three. So it'll be four along there all together, like that. And we've got a little back window there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this and we're gonna extend it out the back here. So one, two, and bring this all the way around and it's gonna overlap. So we can bring it across here and this is going to go all the way across until we meet with this birch wood here. Now what we can do is we can actually extend it across here so it interlocks into there and bring it back and bring this to join. And now we can just fill that whole gap of the roof in. Okay so underneath here we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six and we're going to go all the way along and extend it here and round here so we've basically got a little tiny thing in the middle this is for our pool 
So we can dig this out now. Now this is where we're going to go into the house. Now I want the drop. So we'll dig down here a bit more. I'll just change the time setting so we've got a bit more light. Right, I'm going to put some torches here while we dig down. So we're going to dig down maybe about three or four. We'd say four actually. We dig down four all together. So we dig all this space out. Now underneath here, this is where we're going to have our little entrance that goes underneath the house. Now one, two, three. We'll just kind of dig it out as far as you want. Now when we put the water down here, what we can do, you can actually leave it all natural like that. So you don't have to mess with that too much. Uh, one, two, three, four, and we get our spruce in there. Now what we need to do here, you can make it as big as you like. And this is just so we can have our enchantment table underneath. This is our secret underground base. Now uh, what you can do is go from the top of the building. Now we will go inside the house and mark out where we roughly want maybe our base to go down into. So we can dig down here and maybe put a trap door there. So for the time being, we'll fill all this in. We'll fill the floor in with the spruce. Now you can use whatever wood you like. It's completely optional. You can kind of change it around to make it your own build. We'll get it down there just so we can actually jump down there into our base. Now we can fill all these side walls like this. And we'll fill this one here. I'm gonna keep it quite natural when it gets to this doorway with the pool. Let's bring all this back here like that. And I think, yeah, we just need that one gap so we can actually get into here. Now let's light this up so people can see. Um, yeah, so we dig it out just so we've got enough for our 30 enchantment table. Now, obviously you can make this as big as you like. You don't have to have it that big. You can have it even bigger if you like. You can have a whole underground labyrinth if you like. Um, so, but we're just gonna dig it out just enough. And obviously if the water's coming in and stuff like that, we can actually fill it all in. It's probably best to use dirt on the back walls like that. Let's fill all that in. Right, so we'll get our book tables now. I have no clue what a book table is, but there you go. So we'll get this in and we'll fill it all in. So level 30 would be, we've got six there. And then we go diagonal, one, two, three, one, two, three there. Diagonal to the side, one, two, three there, one, two, three there. And we can obviously dig this out and you can put like a light source underneath. And you can put something like maybe just a torch underneath here. And then when it comes to like putting your enchantment table on, you can go like this. Obviously this is, um, you wouldn't actually, um, wait, let's, let's try this. We'll put a block there just so we can place this on. And we've still got that light coming through. Now obviously we can dig all this stuff up here and it will be at the side there but we'll have bush over this bit. This is just so we can have the roof so it actually looks like it's uh, all concealed in and stuff and it looks quite nice on the ceiling as well. But we'll fill all that in and then across the floors and stuff you can actually put some chests down here and let's fill all that in. I might actually put a chest down there, we can fill that top in. Let's get a little chest little chest so we can actually keep our stuff down there we've got our place to get down here obviously we're gonna need a ladder so we get our little ladder going all the way up and then we're gonna put our thing on and you can put some more space at the back here if you if you would like and um, we can get some more chests back there we'll actually fill this in here let's get another secret chest there with the light source but yeah that's quite nice so far we've got our ladder to get in here and this is where we can actually start filling in the water bucket so we fill in our water source here and obviously it's survival but you can use this as a swimming pool but at the same time it's an infinity water source so that's quite good as well. So obviously to get into here you can climb down here and you can get into your house. Now if you don't want this bit here and you want it a little bit more secretive and um, you can keep it like that. Now we're going to get some glass now. Now I'm going to get the plain glass and run it around here. You don't have to uh, do this if you don't want to. At the back here I'm going to put that in there. And then in here, we're gonna place that as well. And we need to work on our roof. So for the roof, what I'm gonna do is extend it round here. And it's gonna go round the building, make sh making sure it's like overlapping by one. So it's overlapping by one there, going all the way round here, all the way, way round to the back here, and across here. And then we're just gonna fill that whole bit in with the spruce. As you can see, once you've got that done, it looks really, really nice. 
uh, the side here, obviously we're gonna have some bushes, but at the same time what we can do, we can go like this and we can get our trap doors around there. So we'll get our trap doors and we get our trap doors around this bit and around here as well. But if you don't want, you can do this actually. Just two tra trap doors on the front, a bush there, three going back here. And then what I'm gonna do is get an oak fence and then we're gonna count one, two bushes up there. Now, if you haven't got any trimmers and you, ha you can't get the bushes around, you don't have to do the bushes. That's completely fine. You can put this across here, maybe just the two in fact, that'll be all right. And at the side here, we could have maybe like a little drain pipe or something, just to keep it looking quite nice. At the front, you're more than welcome to put this sort of stuff on and keep it nice. Now at the front here, we'll put two and we'll get our trap doors. And this is where we can actually put our flower beds in. We can maybe put a little farm on. I'll get some flowers in there. Get those two flowers in there. So let's work on the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna place my bed here. I'm gonna remove this ladder just so we can put our trap door on. So it's uh, nicely concealed in, in, in there. We can get these across here. Now across this little bit here, we can maybe put a two chest up there and we can still get into it, hopefully, because of uh, the top of the roof. Now the side here, what I'm gonna do is maybe, um, let's get this sort of stand and let's see if the broom stand, does, yeah, the broom stand goes on top of there and we can get two more chests here. And um, yeah, let's see what else we could have in here. Crafting table at the side. Right now we need our doors. Okay, we'll place a door here, or if you want to put it here, so it's kind of like there, you can do that. And then at the side here, we can place this door on there or there, it's just entirely up to you. Obviously put a light source in here. And now let's decorate this garden a little. Okay, now I'm in a really nice area. So what I'm thinking, at the side here, I'm gonna put a little table where you can obviously sit down and go fishing maybe you can put a little chest at the side so you've got a little chest for your fishing rod so i think i've got a fishing rod in here so you can get your fishing rod in ready and you can actually fish in these waters and stuff so let's put that in there get that in there looking nice now at the side here i'm gonna make a little farm maybe and um, let's see i kind of want to do something like this maybe we could extend like this and we could keep our little farm enclosed in and then we could get our little tiny bits of the fence just to kind of fence it in as well. Now we don't have to fence it over that little bit, but at the back here and at the side here, we can kind of fence it in, make it look nice. We can actually take it towards the waterfront there. And then we can maybe have some fences going around here. What I've done is got some cobblestone around there. If you want to pretty the place up, just kind of work with uh, the landscape, bring that round to here and um, let's see put something like that so we've got a nice little space here now i'm going to get some bone mill okay so what i'm going to do is the landscape looks a bit bad now obviously if you're in survival and stuff like that you haven't always got bone mill so you don't have to do this bit maybe put some flowers on there bring this around a little bit i'm going to keep it quite bare here around this sort of area now here obviously we're going to do our farm so i'll just quickly do this Okay, so as you can see, I've got a little bit of sugar cane. I've got these little bits for the water, and then we've got the wheat going all the way around. Now, if you want to light the place up, because obviously there'd be creepers and things like that, skeletons and all that, you need to keep it all nice. So I think something like that, let's get rid of all this and I'll collect all this stuff. But around here, if you want to make it a little bit more pretty, now you can have like little blocks here, like you've got a little path that runs through here. You can maybe have a plant pot. So you can have a little plant pot at the side and then you can put like a fern or whatever bush you've kind of found. But there you go guys, you've got a perfect little small survival start house. I think it's perfect. Um, let's put a little, we can actually put two plant pots here of flowers of your choice, making sure you're lighting it up. But there, you've got everything you need for survival. And obviously, if you want to extend underground as well, in the secret base, you could always put your um, place to get to the nether and stuff like that. And yeah, just getting more torches and lighting the place up just so. Now, if you want to make it completely mob proof, you can obviously put some fences going all the way around with the gate post into it. And maybe if you would like what you can do, check this out you could go like this this is where you could maybe do your fishing so you can extend it and you've got like a little fishing dock uh, something like that I would probably extend it round here and then you can actually put it across the floor just something like that you know and then when it comes to this you could maybe get some proper oak wood and you can 
plop it into the ground here. Let's do it. Something like that, you know? Bring it up like this, or you can maybe do it this side. Kind of experiment with ideas, but obviously we're gonna need some of this oak. Bring the oak round like this. In fact, we could do this. Extend it a little bit more. Bring this oak round to here. Bring this all the way across here. And then this bit here, we could have that fence digging into there. This one you could leave open or you could have it going all the way up to here and underneath here, you know. So you could have it curling round, let's see. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can kind of make it your own. Let's let's do it across the front here and wind it all the way around so it's kind of in fixed in. And then we could have a little boat here. It's got our little boats there as well. Let's put another one here. And then you can add some lily pads around the place. But I really do like this house. Make sure you slap the heck out of that like button. And you can obviously add your own little details to it and stuff to make it look extra nice. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out my other videos and I shall catch you later alligator look at that it's quite a nice area as well now for if you want another house i've got another house here i'll make sure i put that down in the description that is um, a small mushroom house uh, but i really like that sort of area it's kind of cute and perfect really and um, let's have a look um i don't know if it's got the coordinates and the, the seed number if the seed number's in there i'm sure you can pick it out but there you go guys i shall catch you later peace